sir. He is rather resourceful, you know. Wait, sir. It's Master Robin's helming signal. You call, sir? Alfred. Alfred Bizarro, to be exactly. Now, me got little surprise for you. Hope you like. Me set Batmobile autopilot take you both straight to Devil's Cliff and straight off edge. <laughs> Smashing party, Master Bruce. Everyone seems to be having a great time. Except for the host. Forgive me, sir, but you have been frightfully moody lately. It has me quite concerned. My heavens. You mean it wasn't you tossing guards out of windows last night? I'll cancel Master Bruce's rendezvous with the uh, Bambi, was it? Yes, miss, they have. If I may be so bold, I'm neither a superhero nor a soldier. So I'm hardly qualified to judge your actions by those standards. But I do know this. Without the great sacrifices you've made, we wouldn't be here to share this nice pot of tea. I don't think she wanted to be saved, sir. Vengeance blackens the soul, Bruce. I always feared you would become that which you fought against. You walk the edge of that abyss every night. But you haven't fallen in, and I thank heaven for that. <laughs> but Andrea fell into that pit years ago. And no one, not even you, could have pulled her back. Well, you'll be happy to know I've drawn you a bath. Whenever you're ready. I said I drew you a bath, sir. April Fools. Not a funny bone in his entire body. Madman, just once I'd like someone to believe that. Good morning, Master Bruce. Rise and shine, sir. Merely a flesh wound. I do believe my military medical training has equipped me to deal with such injuries. And that would be for... If only we could build a cleaning robot to assist the Batman's butler. Being summoned to pick you up has never been a good omen, Master Bruce. Oh, Master Bruce. I am so very sorry. I can never replace them. But I promise you, I will never, ever leave your side. Master Bruce, be strong. Gordon's files show that the only access to the neighboring building is via Falcone's office. Apparently, it's reserved strictly for less savory activities. The gentleman in Falcone's office is likely Gordon's informant, a certain Walter Feister. If so, he'll undoubtedly know how to gain access to the elevator. Once upon a time, Gotham City was a cesspool of crime and corruption, where gangsters and madmen ran afoul of the law, and decent people lived in fear. That is, until a force for justice appeared in the leather-winged guise of Batman. Eventually, he saw the need for a partner in crime-fighting, a squire who would help him in his caped crusade. Thus was born... Robin. Together they served as an ever-vigilant reminder to the Gotham underworld that no criminal was safe as long as the dynamic duo was on the job. Indeed. Shut it down. Bloody hell. Now add voyeurism to the roster of personal psychoses you refuse to address. Not now, Alfred. I will admit my complicity in young Master Richard's involvement in this bit of family enterprise, but I will not condone nor remain silent while you engage in open recruitment and enable other young vigilantes. I'm sorry, sir, but I was wondering what you wanted to do with your gun collection. You keep moving it, and I keep tripping over it. Sorry, Alfred. I suppose I should take it to the police. It's a bag full of tragedy, that's what it is. I don't know how you could even handle them. This isn't too cramped for you. That door leads to your bath, the other to a game room. And you also have this for your amusement. Naturally, you have the run of the mansion. Perhaps Master would like some warm mixed nuts and a moist hand towel, while I am much too old to care. I 
identify yourselves. Master Bruce, you can rest easy, sir. I took the liberty of washing and repairing your shirt and cape. Uh, the souvenirs of the Gotham City sewers are best left under the street. Indeed it is. Master Bruce got almost three hours sleep in the last two days. True bus man's holiday. What makes a hero? Is it power? Is it speed? Is it facing your fear? <clears throat> Master Bruce wishes to see you. Welcome home, Master Bruce. Police Lieutenant Gordon and Mrs. Gordon, sir. Tendency toward aberrant, even violent behavior. Shall I fetch your tights, sir? Just, sir, there's more interference than usual. Of course, I watched your incarceration on the evening news. Was getting yourself arrested a part of your plan all along? And how was that? I am, sir. No, it does not. Mr. Dent's predilection for all things binary may not bode well for Miss Kyle. They will remember you, Master Bruce, I promise. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Master Bruce, I hoped it would never end like this. Rest in peace. Master Bruce, you'll be happy to know I managed to have the gifts delivered to St. Jude's in spite of tonight's case. Well, the orphanage volunteered a truck and driver. They were apparently more concerned about upset children than they were about the flood of criminals in the streets. Excuse me, sir. What can I do for you, sir? On its way, sir. Could I just ask you to check the weapon system, sir? Those silver objects would make excellent targets. Excuse me, sir. Spend. I await your return. Late night playing cards, Master Bruce. I believe tradition calls for hiding these up one's sleeves. Mild teasing at best. I'm being uncharacteristically chanting with you, mainly because you're bleeding all over my nice clean floor. That is correct, Master Bruce. Not until you've had proper medical attention, food, and a minimum of eight hours bed rest. I made chicken soup. You can eat while you brood, and I'll put in your stitches myself. It will be delightful, I'm sure. By the way, the part about the stitches, that would be sarcasm. Master Bruce, you set off the alarm, sir. This somnambulism is becoming a problem. Especially for those of us with a penchant for sleeping at night. If it's suicide you're after, I have an old family recipe. It's slow and painful. You'd like it. Wayne Infirmary? One moment. It's Commissioner Gordon, no doubt calling for details on the funeral. I'm still the prime beneficiary in your will, aren't I? Sir, you are delirious. You should stay quiet from now on. We're moments from like a green tea? He was in a car crash, an accident. My god, daughter. I knew you might respond like this, that's why I didn't say anything. You are the very definition of a secret, Bruce. Tatsu is more than capable of being your bodyguard and driver. Test her. You'll see. Forget about me! Run! Pain is not important right now. Happy to be of assistance. If I may say so, sir, Superman seems like a splendid chap. Perhaps you should reconsider joining his Justice League. No, I do not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe the upstairs doorknobs need polishing. Good day, madam. Sir, deepest apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Your refreshments, Master Bruce. Well then, sir, do you need my further assistance, or should I just go away? Excuse me if I find that comforting, sir. Are you sure of that? I mean, don't underestimate him. You can't save everyone, sir. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. This place is all I have ever known, all I see. The world feels much smaller than I know that it must be. Somewhere beyond.